My name is Richard. I have a 53 Buick and my car is haunted. How's it going guys? I'm Matt. And I'm Jim. And this is the, the car, car show guys. Oh, we got a scary one for you. It should be Halloween. Yep, yep, absolutely. We uh, ran into this gentleman at one of our local car shows here by the name of Richard Martin. And he's got an old Buick and then the old Buick's got a story. Yeah, and so on the outside, the car looks normal. Um, you know, it's just an old car. Uh, he just cleaned it up and got it running real well. Kept it like it was. But that's not quite all to the story. Absolutely not, no. So you better just uh, hang on to your pants because this is loud and scare the crap out of you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, enjoy. Yep. Woo! So the original couple that bought the car, brand new in 53 out of Detroit, they had it for a couple of years. Unfortunately, they had lost control and hit a tree. They both had perished in it. And then rumor has it after that, the car sat wrecked with remaining with the family since about the 80s. They sold it to a couple that was out of state and they came in, restored the car, drove it up until the 90s. And then after that, the owner, Donald Ash, had passed away. And after that, I had purchased the vehicle and they told me all about how the car has cranked on its own. There's been the sounds in the garage of doors opening and closing, lights on, et cetera, et cetera. And my wife and I have experienced the same exact things. Personally, what's happened with me is, is that uh, there's been times I put the key in the ignition and then with these cars, you have to always put the throttle to the floor to crank the starter over. And out of nowhere, it has done it on its own. Starter doesn't hang up, nothing. It's as if somebody perfectly cranks it over and lets off when it fires. Uh, I have come out to my garage before and found lights were just on. I had never pulled the switch. Uh, my wife, when I wasn't over the road truck driver, had heard sounds in the garage of like doors opening and closing. She'd go and throw the garage door open and yet nobody was in the garage. So I, um, that's what the previous owner said they dealt with with me, which is why I'm led to believe that Sophia is haunted. Previous owners named it uh, Lucifer, but that was a little steep for us, so we just stuck with Sophia. It's a little bit happier upcomings. <laughs> yeah, the only thing I've really done to it is go for front to back, fluids, rebuilt the carburetor, starter, brake lines, everything I could that was rubber it got replaced so that way I could have it reliable. So if somebody come up to you today and ask you how much? Never, never for sale. She's family. Overall, the reason I was after a 53 Buick was because my father always took me to Autorama since I was a little kid in Detroit. And I remember the very first car I ever saw when we walked through the front doors was a gold and white 53 Buick Roadmaster. So when the chime, time had came for me to the chance to get a 53 Special, I jumped at the opportunity. Figured it was close enough. It means a lot. I've always wanted a 50s car since I was a kid. And um, being that this is the one I saw when I was a kid, really hoping to get, I'm happy to have it. Next thing on the list is a 58 Plymouth. Okay. How much toilet paper did you really need? Uh, what do you okay, mean? are you still shaking in your boots? Okay, you did that send chills up your spine? Nope, I'm not gonna talk about it. It was too frightening. <laughs> <laughs> who are you gonna call? <laughs> we don't really know how to start this one. No, no. <laughs> we told you this one was something else. Yeah, 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 I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, a little different from our normal videos out there. Yeah, but you know, that's what we try to do. Um, we've, we both own trucks. We both love, uh, you know, the F100 Grand Nationals. But it's called the car show, guys. This yeah. is for everybody. This isn't yeah. just for the truck guys. So we like to do all kinds of stories. Um, and it's not always, you know, I got this from my grandpa or something. Sometimes they got cool stories like this where they buy them with a story already attached to them. Those are the best ones. Yeah, yeah. So with all that said, we're going to take you back to the F100 Grand National Show on the next episode. Yeah, yeah. And we'll stay there for, you know, just a short while because we've we've promised people who that we've, we've already done that, we're, you know, we're going to get them up on the page. But um, we're going to have a lot of footage that we're doing. And you're going to see on our next episode how we've switched it up a little bit. 
and um, you'll see that on previous episodes. We're going in different directions. Yeah, make sure you uh, make comments down below. If you like what we're doing, if you don't like what we're doing, let us know. We, don't, we need that feedback. Yes, absolutely. And so if you can hit subscribe, that'd be great. Um, if we don't see you in the comment section, we'll, we'll see, see you at, at the, the show. show.